Are you looking to move to Point Pleasant, New Jersey, but you're also not sure if it's the right place for you? Well, good news for you. On today's video, we're covering the top six things you need to know before moving to Point Pleasant, New Jersey. If this is your first time to the channel, my name is Steve McCutcheon, and I'm a realtor with Berkshire Hathaway. On the Live in Central New Jersey channel, we cover everything related to the Central New Jersey real estate market. So if you wanna be the first ones to know what's going on in either Monmouth or Ocean County real estate, feel free to click the bell, hit the subscribe button, but let's get this show started. Kicking us off with the very first point, that's going to be the location of Point Pleasant. So Point Pleasant is located in the northeastern section of Ocean County. As soon as you cross over the Manasquan River uh, from Brielle, you're then in Point Pleasant. It's broken into two separate towns. Some people might not know this, but it's Point Pleasant Beach and Point Pleasant Borough. If you hear me refer to them as Beach or Borough throughout the video, just trying to shorten up a little bit and uh, not say Point Pleasant a hundred different times. Uh, so Point Pleasant Beach, if you can kind of use context clues, uh, is obviously going to be the beach and boardwalk side and then Point Pleasant Borough is going to be the more of like the kind of township and a little bit off the coast. A couple of different major roadways throughout the town is going to be Route 35. This brings you north and south throughout many of the beach towns, so that's my personal favorite. You can take that from Belmar all the way down to Point Pleasant and even farther south than that. Then you got Route 88. That'll bring you throughout Point Pleasant itself, so you have Point Pleasant uh, Borough into the beach. Route 70 begins right where like pretty much Point Pleasant and Brick uh, intersect and that'll bring you th throughout a couple different towns in Ocean County. Last but not least, the biggest one of them all is gonna be the Garden State Parkway. This brings you north and south throughout most of the entire state. And if you wanna go north, that can take you up to New York City for interesting commuting, and then south down all the way to Atlantic City as well. The, if you're not looking to drive into New York City, but you still wanna commute into it, you can take the train. It's about a two hour and 15 minute ride from Point Pleasant into New York City. The only thing though is you will have to get off in Long Branch and switch and switch different trains in order to go up all the way. So while it is a kind of a straight commute, you do have to just get on two different trains. Point number two is going to be the beach and boardwalk. If it's not the first, I'm sure it's one of the first things you think of when you hear the words Point Pleasant. And they do an excellent job of attracting a lot of young families, making it a great vacation, destination area. And um, if you live there year round, it's even better for you. So a lot of things your kids can do there. The On the boardwalk, you're gonna have the carnival games so they can play like the, the certain games like you see all the time, the win prizes, the stuffed animals, if maybe one of the higher end ones they do really well, like those NFL jerseys, something along those lines. There's an amusement park with a bunch of rides, mini golf, and they also have an aquarium directly on the boardwalk as well. If that's not enough, sometimes at night they'll have movie nights, so they'll get this big uh, projector screen that goes onto the beach, and they'll play a movie on there. I've seen Up on it. It's, it's, it's really cute. It's a nice little time for the kids. On the adult side, though, there are a few different things you can do as well. There's a couple different bars in the area, Martell's Tiki Bar. They also have uh, Jenks, which is probably going to be the most popular on Wednesday nights throughout the summer. They'll do country nights. It's a big hit around the area. Highly recommend checking it out. Definitely should. Coming up at point number three is going to be the school system and education. So Point Beach and Point Borough actually have two separate school districts. So for Point Beach, it's not as big as Point Borough, so you're gonna have a smaller school district in general. Uh, they don't have a middle school, so what they do is they have an elementary school that does K through eight, and then you move on to uh, Point Beach High School. For Point Borough, they have two elementary schools, one middle, and then one high school. The districts though are actually rated pretty highly throughout Ocean County and both rank inside the top five. Point number four is going to be the demographics of Point Beach and Point Borough. This is where we kind of start to see a little bit of the towns differ in, in an aspect. So for instance, Point Borough is gonna have a population of a little over 19,000 people and Point Beach is gonna have a population of a little under 5,000 people. So that's a pretty big discrepancy right there. One cause of this though is also going to be the difference between the owner occupied units and the rental units. So for Point Borough, you're gonna have an 80% owner occupied use. And then for Point Beach, you're gonna have under 70%. The main reason Point Beach is gonna be so low is also that we do summer vacation rentals. That's a big part of the economy here in New Jersey. I'm sure you've seen the, you know, the show Jersey Shore, uh, it's essentially in some aspect like that. That's obviously a but much different thing. Point Pleasant looks for the families more, but the investors will come in. The peak months are gonna be between Memorial Day and Labor Day, so late May to early September. You'll have some rentals maybe before then and after then, but that's pretty much the bulk of the business that's gonna be done. You'll have these investors, they'll rent them out for the entire summer to some, to some families, maybe just for a month or even just a week. It's very common around here. It's a big part of the economy for all the short towns up and down in New Jersey. And yeah, so that's where you're gonna see a big discrepancy. It's gonna be the owner occupied and the population. Point number five is going to be the different housing options in Point Pleasant. So we're gonna go over the median sales price real quick. And for Point Borough, that's going to be $582,000. For Point Beach though, it's gonna be 867 grand. Obviously a big difference there, that's $300,000. The main reason though is going to be the location. If you're in Point Beach, you're on the beach, you're on the boardwalk, you're close to the water. That's going to have a higher desirability. Anytime you have a waterfront property or a water view, your price automatically goes up. A lot of people want that. There's only so many of those homes around. 
the point I made before too with the investors is they're gonna come in and they're gonna drive prices up as well because once they see how much rent they can get for these places during the peak months, they're gonna come in, they're gonna bid, have specific numbers in mind. And if they're looking for more of an appreciation play, they don't mind necessarily overpaying a little bit either. So if they have cash, probably a pretty simple transaction. All hope is not lost though. You can find some good single families. If you're looking more to live there during the year, I'd probably recommend more going to the Point Borough section. You won't be on top of the water. You'll probably have a little less of a bidding war and uh, not as much competition in a sense. It's still a great area, but you won't necessarily be right on top of the water or within walking distance of the beach. You'll find some homes there for some, some good single family homes. I would say in between like that four and 600 range. If you're looking for a few different uh, condos or townhomes, there's a couple in the area, but not many. You'd have better luck going into brick. They have a good amount of townhomes and condos in between about 250 and 400. One last thing before we head on to our next point, you're also gonna wanna know if your house is in a flood zone or not. Obviously this is gonna be more prevalent in Point Beach, but per Point Borough has sections of it that are also gonna be in a flood zone as well. What does this mean to you as the consumer? It doesn't mean the place is going to flood necessarily, but it has a higher percentage than some other areas in New Jersey. What you have to do is if your property is in a flood zone and you're getting a mortgage, you're gonna to have to get separate flood insurance. This is a different policy from your normal homeowners and you need it in order to close on your property. Your mortgage company will not allow you to close without having flood insurance and proof of it. If you're buying it with cash, you don't need, you don't need flood insurance, you own the home outright. If you're spending you know, five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars on a house, I would highly recommend still getting flood insurance regardless. Finally, coming into point number six is going to be these shopping and dining options in Point Pleasant. So for Point Beach and Point Borough, each of them have a stop and shop in their respective towns. That's going to be your main food source other than just like kind of the local and fresh markets around. The shopping as aspect of everything, they'll have some boutique shops like near uh, the downtown area. I think it's off Arnold Avenue. And um, it's kind of like right in between where Point Beach and Point Borough are. You actually have the very first Jersey Mike's that was ever created uh, over there. So if you want to stop by and just check out the original location, it's kind of a cool little spot. Um, other than that though, if you need some like main department stores, you'll have to hop on Route 70 and travel down the brick. If you're in the Point Borough area, you're probably looking at like a five to 10 minute drive. Um, if you're in the Point Beach, more like 15 to 20. Before we head out though, real quick guys, I'm gonna take you on a tour of the town, just kind of driving through, just give you an idea of what it really looks like. Um, just to you know, preference it a little bit though, I did this in the winter time. So, you know, the trees will be bare. It won't be looking as pretty as it, no it normally is in Point Pleasant. And um, also the beach and stuff won't be packed. You'll, you'll see plenty of parking spots when in the summertime, you, it'll take you a long time to find one. So. Um, let's go take a tour real quick. so much for sticking around to the end of the video guys i really do appreciate it um if you're looking to buy in the point pleasant area feel free to reach out to me all my contact information is down below in the description and the comments whether you're one month three months six months or even a year out it doesn't matter to me let's just get you on the right path to your real estate goals and until next video i'll catch you later